Hey, hey, everybody, welcome to day 251 of the Daily Stoic. All right, here's the quote for the day. No one is crushed by fortune unless they are first deceived by her. Those who aren't pompous in good times don't have their bubbles burst when cha with change. Against either circumstance, the stable person keeps their rational soul invincible, for it's precisely in the good times they prove their strength against adversity. Seneca. So, as I was thinking about this quote today, what it means to me is, is actually two things. One, it means that during the good times, we should prepare for the bad. And that kind of reminded me of an old Japanese quote that I once read that said, when the world is peaceful outside of you, your mind should be actively thinking. But when the world outside of you is in chaos, your mind should be quiet and still. And so what that often means to me is when I think about that is that when things are going good, when things are peaceful, then that's when our mind should be thinking about, you know, what can I do? What should I do if this happens? Where can I go? What's the backup plan for this? How, you know, we should always be constantly thinking. We should always be working on that. But then when the chaos actually comes, when the troubles come, when the trials and the and the adversity comes, then our mind should be quiet. It should be peaceful. Because we know what we need to do. We've already prepared for it. We're ready for it. And then we can just execute on it. And when we're executing on it, our minds can be at peace because we're taking action. Our mind can be at peace because we've already decided what we're going to do. Our mind can be at peace because we know where we're going. We know our end point, and we know that we're working to get there. That's the first thing this quote reminds me of. The second thing this quote reminds me of is that all of our choices in life have a consequence to them. So we make a choice, and there's a consequence. And I'm not always saying that the consequence is bad, but there's always another action. So we make an action by making a choice, and there is another action that is triggered because of that. So sometimes we make a choice and then bad things happen, right? That's a consequence of the choice that we made. Another time we can make a choice and a good thing can happen, right? So I really think that this is just a reminder to me that that always happens. It always happens. You make a choice on something and then either something Something is going to happen because of that choice that you've made. Now, it can be good or it can be bad. A lot of times that's how we perceive it, right? We might perceive that we made this choice and this really good thing happened, whereas somebody else who made that same choice and the same thing happened to them, they might perceive that as bad, right? But there is something going to happen. When you make a choice in your life, something is going to happen. You have made a choice. You have taken an action, and now something else is going to happen. And that's what this quote is kind of reminding me of, is that every time we make a choice, there is another action that follows that choice. So that's what this quote means to me. I'd love to hear what this quote means to you. So please take some time to read the quote, think about it, ponder it, leave your thoughts and comments below this video, and let's you and I have a conversation about it, all right? So until tomorrow, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and let's strive harder each and every day to live our lives more at the great stories we're learning about this year.